I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the Warchip Windows software. The Windows programs like any other. It's got your standard menu toolbar up at the top with File, Edit, Tools, and Help. Under the File menu you'll find the Open, Save As, Save, Read, Write, uh, and Exit options. Edit has the standard Undo, Copy, Cut, Paste, Select All. Tools is where you can add another ECU configuration plugin, so if you need to tune multiple ECUs. Uh, select ECU type allows you to choose between the multiple files you might have uh, for the software, and you can also delete them. And Help just has the standard prompt and a link to our website. Uh, underneath the menu toolbar, you have the Tune tab, which has Tune 1, 2, 3, and Default listed. Um, this represents the four different tunes you can have loaded on the war chip. Um, you can rename that at any time just by double clicking and typing your new name. These names, unlike our previous software, will be saved and carry on to the war chip uh, so you always know what files you have on there. And when you're loading them back onto the software or reading them out of the war chip, um, you'll be able to tell what's what. Below the Tune tab, you have the Map tab section. Uh, the ECU we're looking at here happens to be the 413 ECU, so you can see uh, Vanos-related uh, control features. Um, some ECUs have more, some ECUs have less, just depending on what features are available. Um, you can click on whatever ones you want. You can't rename these, um, but just clicking on them brings up the Maps uh, data. Below the, below the map tab, we have the map description. So this gives you a short uh, explanation of what the map does. You know, this map controls fuel injection during idle. It's the idle fuel map, obviously. Um, wide open throttle fuel Vanos torque controls fuel injection during full throttle when Vanos is advanced or on. And the reason why we call it torque and horsepower is so it gives people an idea of what Vanos is accomplishing. Um, Below the map description, you obviously have the actual data area. So when you have a tune loaded in, this would display the uh, values for this given map. Uh, below the map area, you have the status bar. So when you're writing to the war chip, this will be slowly creeping up to 100% until it's ready. Um, during the write process, it'll tell you writing here and this little dot up here in the top right hand corner will also be red. Once it's done writing to the war chip, it'll say ready. Below the status bar we just have the ECU description and this down here just tells you what Motronic version it is and the ECU it's applicable for. I hope that gave you a little bit better explanation. Uh, we'll have some more videos on our website uh, that cover some of the topics in here uh, in a little bit more depth. If you guys have any questions, just give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks.